the book of Psalms. Psalm 73, a psalm of Asaph. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How does God know? And is he their knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I plagued, and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou cast them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation, as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awakens, so, O Lord, when thou awakens, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with the counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom I have, whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. Psalm 74 Contemplation of Asaph O God, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why does thine anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion where thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. Thine enemies roar in the midst of the congregations, they set up their ensigns for signs. A man was famous according as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. But now they break down the carved work therefore at once with axes and hammers. They have cast fire into thy sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of thy name to the ground. They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knows how long. O God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? Why withdraws thou thy hand, even thy right hand? Pluck it out of thy bosom. For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou did divide the sea by the strength. Thou break the heads of the dragons in the waters. Thou broke the heads of the Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to his people inhabiting the, the wilderness. Thou did cleave the foundation, fountain and the flood. Thou dried up mighty rivers. Thy, the day is thine, the night also is thine. Thou hast prepared the light and the sun. Thou hast set all the borders of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. 
Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. O deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of habitations of cruelty. O let not the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise thy name. Arise, O God, plead thine own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches thee daily. Forget not the voice of thine enemies. The tumult of those that rise up against thee increases continually. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.